in this moment, so after George Floyd was killed by police in Minneapolis, and at the start of the kind of national rebellion, you know, these uprisings that were happening in various cities, my first thought was really, how am I going to talk about this with my child, who is three and a half years old? And so I actually turned to some of the children's books that we've read together over the years that I felt could give me a foundation to have a conversation about current events in an age-appropriate way with her. So there's a book that we've read a lot called We March um, by someone named uh, Shane W. Evans. And it's basically, it's set in kind of civil rights era and it shows a black family waking up in the morning um, go, getting on, uh, traveling together to go to what we know is the March on Washington, but you know, you, it's, it's implied, um, and making signs, kind of the preparation that goes into that. So making signs together, um, when they get there, they're moving together with other people, they're chanting, they're singing. And so when I needed to have a conversation with her about really the conversation was like, why is mom glued to the news? Because we don't just have news on in the house. But she, I just could not tear myself away from um, my phone and the screens, right? And so I need it because that is not usually how I like to be around her. I needed to explain it to her. And so I told her that um, the police had hurt somebody and people were very upset about it and they were responding um, by protesting. And so then, of course, her question is, well, what's a protest? And I could turn to, oh, remember, we've read that book, We March. Similarly, we have a book called um, Rosa. It's a children's book. It's actually for a slightly older child. It's probably for like a six to nine year old. Um, but we've been reading it since a friend gave it to us. And the text is by Nikki Giovanni. And so she had been introduced to this idea of like police or the state as an oppressive force. And then someone, you know, in the case of this book, Rosa Parks being taken into custody. And then the book goes into what her community does in response. And then so there's, you know, people making flyers and essentially organizing the Montgomery bus, bus boycott. And so I really leaned on these children's books that we had read together, you know, for a long time to help explain what was going on in the current moment. Hachette.